Welcome to BK Academy of Chess. This is Black Knight. And today we're going to look at the Romanovsky Drawing Zone. Now here with the Rook's Pawn on the 6th rank, Taraj teaches us to maneuver the King to A7 to win the position. Years later, Von Kura teaches us how to hold this position by attacking the pawn with the rook on the sixth rank, checking the king away whenever the king goes to help promote the pawn. Well, in 1950, Romanovsky outlines the drawing zone that the white king must be in in order to draw this position. And he also teaches us that sometimes the threat is just as good as the cure. And we'll take a look at what he's talking about. So, let's take a look at this drawing zone that the white king must be in in order for black to draw. If you notice, it's pretty much everything on the king side and a couple of center squares here. Basically, the further away from the action, the better chances black has. Now, we looked at how we could jump into the von Cura by using a tempo. However, that doesn't work for all these squares. Let's look at a way to handle this and try to find something that works for all the squares. And the best way to handle this is just by cutting the king off, right? I mean, it's pretty hard for the king to make it to a7 if it's cut off. Well, the king chases the rook, but it, it doesn't stop here. Here's where we threaten to use the von Kura without using a tempo move. And the reason we can do that is because white will activate its rook by checking the king. And notice the king steps straight up to g6, not f6. The only time the king can move to f6 is if the rook is on the a file or the h file. Okay, so white activates its rook, right? So black is unable to obtain the von Cura. If we back it up, and if white moved the king to c2, then black could just hop on b6, right, and obtain the von Cura. Well, here white doesn't allow this, but it doesn't matter, because black will attack the pawn from the back. This gives white two options. He can push the pawn, but if you look at this position, white still needs the king to help support the promotion, because the rook must remain on the seventh rank to protect the pawn and black's attacking it from behind, right? So it comes down to a race. Now what black is trying to do is he's trying to box out the white king from getting in front just like this. Because the king cannot support the pawn from behind because all black has to do is to harass the king with checks. And there's nothing white can do to advance this position. So it's a draw. Here white could step up the rook to check the king, but black has king f7, and the race is on, and black boxes out the white king from getting in front, and there's nothing white can do to advance this position. So let's take a look at another position with the king on e2. Now of course, black could just check the king and hop into the grand cure, but we're trying to, you know, find something that works for everything, so he cuts the king off. The king chases the rook, and now black threatens the von Cura, just like before. He checks the king, he steps up, he activates the rook, black returns to attacking the pawn from behind. White has two options, and black wins the race. Now here, if white steps up, black takes the low road and cuts off all the gaps. White cannot advance this position. So I'm just going to go through this real fast just to show you how this works. You see, same thing we have. He turns to attacking the pawn from behind. If he pushes, the race is on. That signifies the race here. And black wins. You see, there's nothing white can do to advance the position. Now here, if white steps up with a check, Same thing. Nothing white can do. Okay, so now it gets a little tricky here. Let's advance the king all the way up to the fifth rank. Now we cannot cut off the king, right? Well, on G and H file, we can, right? Just by checking the king. 
the king has to give way and he finds himself cut off, right? Now, we already looked at this position, right? Let's take a look at with the king on f5. Well, we stick with the same plan. We check the king, right? And if the king steps back, we know we can hold that position. But if the king steps to e6, how should black play? Rook to h5. Now, what is black up to? Well, let's take a look. If the rook checks the king, how should black play? Well, he doesn't want to move his king to g6 here because that would be in the way of the rook. So he steps back to g8. Now the plan is just to harass the king with checks, right? And if the king steps on to the seventh rank, white loses, right? So white tries to shield this king from checks, but how should black play here? He simply attacks the pawn from behind. Now white pushes the pawn white loses. Okay? White is getting nowhere. The position is a draw. Now white could also try to advance this king trying to make it to a7 but black just attacks the pawn from the side and then jumps into the von Cura position and we know this to be a draw. Now, there's always exceptions and that is with the king on d2. Now if we try to cut the king off here, right, of course we can't go to b3 so if we jump over here to f3 threatening to jump on the sixth rank to get the von Cura position, this is what happens. White checks the king of course, he activates this rook forcing us back to the a file and here how should white play? Well if he steps up with a check, black has this. The race is on. He attacks the rook, right? He attacks the rook. However, black is able to cut off all of white's gaps. Or is this true? Because now white can check the king now that the pawn is being protected, right? But that doesn't mean anything here. Because when the king steps up to get in front then we stonewall on the C file. We discussed that in one of the previous videos. When this position is to push the A pawn, you see now the race is and look at here notice that black does not play rook to A6 because that leaves white with rook to C6 check and the pawn promotes. So he plays rook to A5 attacks the rook and then cuts the black king off. You see? Now the king cannot get closer to the action and the white king now has some squares to get his king in front to help promote the pawn. You see? And that's a win for white. So, cutting off the king here does not work what black needs to do is to threaten the von Cura right from the beginning right now this gives white the opportunity to activate its rook black attacks the pawn from behind and if the pawn pushes and the race begins black wins you see now if he steps up and checks the king black wins that race too as well so that's how we handle the d2 square. And that same method works for maybe about half of the yellow squares. But all we need to do is to stick with cutting off the king, threatening the von Cura, and then going into the race to box out the white king. The only time we need to use this method here is when the king is on d2. Thanks for tuning in to BK Academy of Chess.